tell me this. It's so everyone says they want to play D1. And here yeah. you had two members of your football playing family go D1. What, what was the recipe for your all? And I'm guessing you're both guards too, right? Yeah, we were both like, you know, combo guard shooters. My brother was more of a shooter. I was, more, I'd probably handle it a little bit more, uh, but he could shoot the heck out of it. Um, what was your secret recipe? So, because everyone's always wanting to know how do you unlock the door to D1, especially as a guard. What was yours? Yeah, you know, Corey, I don't know, man. If I had the answer to that one, I think I'd be, you know, <laughs> sell it. I, we were never really focused on it. I think my brother probably sophomore year of high school decided, hey, you know what? I want to do this. I want to go for it, you know? And we had a lot of support, you know, from our coaches and from our, our parents and the people around us, our friends. Um, and then having it for me, it was having an older brother that, you know, I saw the sacrifices. I saw the, the work ethic, you know? He was, you know, constantly out in the driveway getting shots up. He was constantly dragging me out there. Benny, let's play one-on-one, -on -one. you know, like, and that's where, you know, I watched him go through that. And then I decided I wanted to do the same thing. And, and uh, that's kind of, and then my dad, obviously, you know, he played division one football. So he knew, I think what it, the sacrifices and the hard work that it takes and the commitment. Um, and he would never force us to, you know, go, hey, you know, go work out, go lift weight, none of that. But you know, he'd come home from work and he'd say, you know, what'd you guys do today? What'd you do today, Benny? And it, I was like, ah, oh, you know, whatever. I hung out. I went and hung out with my friends. We went to the beach. We went to the pool. And he'll be like, all right, that's cool. You know, it, you know, just don't, you know, don't tell me you want to play Division One basketball. So that was kind of like, and he wasn't hit, you know, busting my chops about it. He was just like, you know, kind of reminding me. And then it was just interesting though because it kind of jolted me a couple times and I was like you know what I'm right like if I'm going to say I'm going to do something like I don't know where my mouth is so that's uh I think growing up in that type of environment and then having the support of all my coaches and you know obviously coach Keo my public high school coach coach Braun um they pushed me hard you know and they they really they pushed me past my comfort zone and I think that's probably another difference between, you know, division one, division two, II, division three is really getting outside of that comfort zone and learning to, to play the game, like that pit in your stomach, like that's, that's division one basketball. Like that's just constant. Like you kind of have to just be comfortable with that uncomfortable feeling. And, and when you're working out and playing, like that's the, the level that you got to be at as much as you possibly can.